instead of a preface of drifting flowers of the sea and other poems this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by nemo drifting flowers of the sea and other poems by sadakichi hartman instead of a preface you remember the good monk who is returning to the convent and as he rested by the wayside beneath an oak tree listening to the nightingale's song fell fast asleep when he woke the sun was low he stood up shivering and asked an old peasant who was passing what time it was seven o'clock said the peasant oh oh then i shall not reach the monastery before nightfall what monastery asked the surprised peasant the monastery of st withold two leagues from here so ho said the peasant you are one of those antiquary people too i thought so when i saw your odd clothes but you are taking a useless journey there is nothing to see except some old stones at the gates sacked cried the monk demolished since morning oh long ago said the peasant the father of my grandfather saw it standing it was a hundred years ago since then it has been a ruin the good monk had slept a hundred years listening to the nightingale's song when i laid aside sadakichi hartman's colorful pages and came down into the marketplace where the books of the day are cried i feel as composed and exceptional as the good monk of st withold and yet vance thompson end of instead of a preface Nocturne by Sadakichi Hartman. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Nocturne. Upon the silent, sea swept land, the dreams of night fall soft and gray. The waves fade on the jeweled sand like some lost hope of yesterday. The dreams of night fall soft and gray upon the summer-colored seas like some lost hope of yesterday the sea mew's song is on the breeze upon the summer-colored seas sails gleam and glimmer ghostly white the sea mew's song is on the breeze lost in the monotone of night sails gleam and glimmer ghostly white they come and slowly drift away lost in the monotone of night like visions of a summer day they shift and slowly drift away like lovers lays that wax and wane the visions of a summer day whose dreams we ne'er will dream again like lovers lays wax and wane the star dawn shifts from sail to sail like dreams we ne'er will dream again the sea mews follow on their trail the star dawn shifts from sail to sail as they drift to the dim unknown the sea mews follow on their trail in quest of some dreamland zone in quest of some far dreamland zone of some far silent sea-swept land they are lost in the dim unknown where waves fade on jeweled sand and dreams of night fall soft and gray like some lost hope of yesterday and a poem this recording is in the public domain why i love thee by sadakichi hartman read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Why I love thee. 
why i love thee ask why the sea wind wanders why the shore is a flush with the tide why the moon through heaven meanders like seafaring ships that ride on a sullen motionless deep why the seabirds are fluttering the strand where the waves sing themselves to sleep and starshine lives in the curves of the sand end of poem this recording is in the public domain why i no longer love thee by sadakichi hartman read for LibriVox.org by nemo why i no longer love thee why i no longer love thee ask why summer has fled why autumn is dead with its garnet glow why the sea is gray and the sky is gray by bitter gales or the salt flats blow where the sea fowl sport in ghoulish play and the pods of the beech pea stand withered on the long curved rifts of dream torn sand why the shore is scarred by time's rough hand and ships that heal on wintry seas are wrecked on the ashen strand End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Drifting Flowers of the Sea by Sadakichi Hartman. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Drifting Flowers of the Sea. Across the dunes in the waning light, the rising moon pours her amber rays through the slumberous air of the dim brown night the pungent smell of the seaweed strays from vast and trackless spaces where wind and water meet white flowers that rise from the sleepless deep come drifting to my feet they flutter the shore in a drowsy tune unfurl their bloom to the light-lorn sky allow a caress to the rising moon then fall to slumber and fade and die white flowers a bloom on the vagrant deep like dreams of love rising out of sleep you are the songs i dreamt but never sung Pale hopes my thoughts alone have known, Vain words ne'er uttered, though on the tongue, That winds to the sibilant seas have blown. In you I see the everlasting drift of years, That will endure all sorrows, smiles, and tears. For when the bell of time will ring the doom To all the follies of the human race, you still will rise in fugitive bloom and garland the shores of ruined space. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Immaculate Conception by Sadakichi Hartman. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Immaculate Conception. A maiden flower stands lonesome on a vast and desolate plain in trembling fear that her longings for life and love prove vain but the passing breeze takes pity it embraces some flowering plant and carries its golden riches to the bride of the desolate land wind stirred she tosses her clustering hair to the dust of golden glow and flowers starred with the waxing morn the desolate meadows grow and a poem this recording is in the public domain a triolet by sadakichi hartman read for librivox.org 
by Nemo. A Triolet. Tis the first day of spring. The catkins are a bloom. The bluebirds are a wing. Tis the first day of spring. Faint scents the breezes bring. Man's thoughts new shape assume. Tis the first day of spring. The catkins are a bloom. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Parfum de Fleur by Sadakichi Hartman. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Parfum de Fleur. O oh, frail and fragrant visions, sweet nomads of the air, that rise like the mist on the meadows and cling to my darksome hair. Are ye the souls of roses, of memories, vagrom lays? sent to caress my senses faint murmurs of bygone days and a poem this recording is in the public domain twilight hours by sadakichi hartman read for librivox dot org by nemo twilight hours one the colors of the rainbow are fading in the silent and distant west, and the heartache of twilight trembles within my aching breast. For the light of my love has faded like sunbeams in the west, and the color of twilight will tremble forever in my breast. 2. I think of thy kindness often, when lonesome I feel and cold. I have not forgotten our childhood, nor your loving words of old. And still my sweetest songs of life are floating in dreams to thee, like whisperings at eventide across a clouded sea. 3. We too are sitting in the bark and listen to the wavelets play. The shore is melting in the dark day's echoes silently decay o oh, life with all thy hopes so fair wilt thou too float away like visions rising in the air that greet the parting day four she stands amidst the roses and tears dart from her eye that like the fragrant roses her soul must fade and die he stares at the twilight ocean on the shore of a foreign land. A faded rose is trembling within his soft white hand. 5. The rushes whisper softly, the sounds of silence wake. Large flowers, like sad remembrance, float on the dark green lake. Were life but like the waters, so bright and calm and deep, and love like floating flowers that on the surface meet. 6. The naked trees of autumn grope shivering through twilight's gloom. Athwart the whispering branches its dying embers loom. I dream of life's defoliation as I watch with silent dread, leaf after leaf departing like hopes long withered and dead. 7. In haunting hours of twilight dreams, restless the turbulent sea, and heaves her white wanton bosom in endless mystery. Dream on, dream on, titanic queen, beloved sea, at thy wanton breast I would find rest in endless mystery. End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Tanka by Sadakichi Hartman Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo Tanka 1. Winter, spring, who knows? White buds from the plum tree's wing And mingle with the snows no blue skies these flowers bring 
yet their fragrance augurs spring two ah where the white waves far in the shimmering sea that the moonshine laves dream flowers drifting to me i would call them love for thee three moon somnolent white mirrored in a waveless sea what fickle mood of night urge thee from heaven to flee and live in the dawnlit sea four like mist on the lees fall gently o rain of spring on the orange trees that to uma's casement cling perchance she'll hear the lovebird sing five the love has grown cold the woods are bright with flowers why not as of old come to the wild wood bowers and dream of bygone hours six tell what name beseems these vain and wandering days like a bark of dreams that from souls at daybreak strays they are lost on trackless ways the tanka short poem is the most popular and characteristic of the various forms of poetry in japan it consists of five lines of five seven five seven and seven syllables thirty-one syllables in all the addition of the rhyme is original with the author end of poem this recording is in the public domain dawn flowers by sadakichi hartman read for LibriVox.org by nemo dawn flowers to maurice maeterlinck Weird phantoms rise and the dawn winds blow. In the land of shadows, the dawn flowers grow. The night worn moon yields her weary glow to the morn rays that over the dream waste flow. Oh, to know what the dawn wind murmurs in chapels of pines to the ashen moons. What the forest well whispers to dale and dell with her singular reticent runes to know the plaint of each falling leaf as it whirls across the autumnal plain to know the dreams of the desolate shore as sails like ghosts pass o'er the dawnlit main to know oh to know why all life's strains have the same refrain as of rain beating sadly against the window pane we do not know and we cannot know and all that is left for us here below since songs and singers are out of date and the muses have met with a similar fate is to flee to the land of shadows and dreams where the dawn flowers grow and the dawn winds blow as morn rays over life's dream waste flow to drown the moon in their ambient glow envoy o oh, gray dawn poet of flanders though in this life we ne'er may meet i'll linger where thy dream maids wander to strew these dawn flowers at their feet end a poem this recording is in the public domain to the flat iron by sadakichi hartman read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. To the Flatiron. On roof and street, on park and pier, the springtide sun shines soft and white. Where the Flatiron, gaunt, austere, lifts its huge tears in limpid light. From the city's stir and maddening roar, your monstrous shape soars in massive flight and mid the breezes the ocean bore your windows flame in the sunset light lonely and lithe o'er the nocturnal city's flickering flames you proudly tower like some ancient giant monolith 
girt with the stars and mists that lower all else we see fade fast and disappear only your prow like form looms gaunt austere as in a sea of fog now veiled now clear iron structure of the time rich and showing no pretense fair and frugalness sublime emblem staunch of common sense well may you smile over gotham's vast domain as dawn greets your pillars with roseate flame for future ages will proclaim your beauty boldly without shame end a poem this recording is in the public domain as the lindens shiver in autumn dreams by sadakichi hartman read for LibriVox.org, by Nemo. As the lindens shiver in autumn dreams, the fields lie wrapped in autumn dreams beneath the dim blue vault of night. The moon, like a bark on sluggish streams, spreads soft her sail of silver light. Beneath the blue, dim vault of night, with the way-worn notes of joy and care across the sea of the moon's pale light dark flocks of birds flap the silent air with the way-worn notes of joy and care fantastic shapes with wings outspread dark flocks of birds flap the silent air like a cloud of ominous dread Fantastic shapes with wings outspread, Droning some harsh and ghoulish tune. Like a cloud of ominous dread, They darken the sail of the white full moon. They darken the sail of the soft white moon, Like pageants of some Valpurgis night. Droning some harsh and ghoulish tune, Their rustling wings are shimmering bright. Their rustling wings are shimmering bright, as in myriad swarms they are passing by. Like pageants of some Valpurgis night, wheeling their flight to some summer sky. Wheeling their flight when summer has flown, like dreams and hopes now long gone by. Like songs of love our youth has known. In myriad swarms they sail the sky. Like clouds assail on glassy streams, Gray memories of autumn dreams, Like visions of love forever flown, You, aerial voyagers, wing your flight To some enchanted realm our youth has known. Beneath the dim, Blue Vault of Night. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Love by the Sea by Sadakichi Hartman. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Love by the Sea. Far away from the murmuring town in the region of sand and sea love has surprised us on the down love has surprised you and me in this realm where sea-kissed grasses sway where winds at nightfall sadly moan where seagulls sing their plaintive lay and waves croon in minor monotone no flower grows in this land of dreams no human habitation far or near illumines the scene with a reddish gleam all around is desolate and drear nothing but weeds and grayish sand yet the sea seems to say in an undertone till dawn whitens this wind-blown strand the treasures of night are all thy own and like waves that softly shoreward creep 
love draws us nigh as the hours pass thy fluttering hair around me sweep thy breath is like wind in the weft of the grass i feel thy bosom ebb and tide its paleness resembles the moonlit sea and as sea and heaven together glide let thy sweetness be lost in me do not be startled at the seabird's cry nor at the wind's relentless blast too soon the kiss on our lips will die alas the joys of venus never last like flowers that droop on the sunburnt sward our love must needs wither and fade like blossoms that are carried seawards by the wind from some sleepy glade the joys of venus never last love is naught but some dreamland lore and as the hours are ebbing fast our dream like seaweed will be left on the shore already the cup of the autumn moon floods with her gold the distant west the bitterness of life will dawn too soon forlorn lies the seagull's last year's nest perchance some other autumn eve may greet us on this barren wold not arm in arm alone and fain desirous of the days of old the waves have lost their silvery note white birds of dreams o'er the dim plain start through the mist is gliding a phantom bark what made love open its eyes in part where are the sweet names we whispered low were they carried away by the breeze the vain words which from our lips did flow are they buried forever in dismal seas and the kisses that rained on your face has nothing remained of their ardent glow the night holds nothing but a cold embrace the sun of our love sank low only the note of the sea-bird rings through the dim realm of night and mist not a breath of our past love clings to the sea of faded amethyst even the wind pauses in space and refuses to caress our lips alas our love was a fleeting pace like the visions of seafaring ships like the flash of a meteor's flight know we whither its glow has flown it sped across heaven with radiant light and vanished in worlds unknown so the sweet hours have passed away like flowers that on the sand dunes grow like waves that die in a wreath of spray when bitter winds over the shoreland blow End a poem. This recording is in the public domain. Sweet are the dreams on the breeze blown strand by Sadakichi Hartman. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Sweet are the dreams on the breeze blown strand. Sestine Enchaînée when autumn cloudlets fleck the sky straying southward like birds o'er the sea when the flickering sunlight on the dunes is pale as sea grasses kissed by the spray sea grasses that knew the summer of yesterday sweet are the dreams on the breeze blown strand sweet are the dreams on the breeze blown strand when cloud skiffs skim athwart the sky and like a phantom of yesterday the lighthouse shimmers out to sea pales the sand and the sea-worn spray and the straggling sunlight on the dunes like straggling sunlight on the dunes like opal surges that wash the strand with briny fragrance a doom with the spray like wander birds that career the sky to flower-lit isles of some southern sea such are the dreams of yesterday. 
alas our dreams of yesterday frail as the fragrance of the dunes vain as dark jewels of the sea cast up on some glimmering strand they vanish like cloud sails on the sky pale as sea grasses froused by the spray pale as sea grasses kissed by the spray is all this life of yesterday all our longings for clear blue skies for the low cool plash on autumn dunes all our musings on tide left strands while birds wing southward o'er the sea like birds winging southward o'er the sea scattered in air like wasteful spray sea fancies fading on lonesome strands weary of storm drifts of yesterday thus our thoughts on the sea scoop dunes when autumn cloudlets fleck the sky o oh, autumn sea under a cloud-flecked sky as caressed are thy dunes with opal spray so shimmer in dreams on the breeze-blown strand sweet long-lost summers of yesterday end a poem this recording is in the public domain the pirate by sadakichi hartman read for LibriVox.org by nemo the pirate one andante con grazia e molto maestoso the morning dawns and shakes the stars from the raven locks of the queen of night some ripple down into the sea some drown in the morning light the morning dawns and strange white forms o'er the silent waters stray as if they were searching for falling stars those gold has dripped astray slipped away from the rose of morn to the shoreless waste that dull and gray with its misty bars yields no reflection to the death of stars the morning dawns in the starting breeze rends the curtain of silence and mist whence tinged with roseate morn the pirate's galleon drifts away from the shore where the watchfires gleam and the seagulls scream to her daily toil and quest of spoil to waylay some wanderer of the sea with plumage strange and wings outspread like some huge bird from earth long fled the highwayman of the main veers his way to some blood-red day out of the silent gray and shoreless night as the stars ripple down into the sea or drown in the morning light two allegro con passione the sea is white with the noonday glare save a dark unrest and reddish flare that troubles the sea shine in the west there the fight is on with yards entangled in sails of flame enveloped in clouds that darken the sky two dark hulls lash fast together motionless on the noonday waters lie the fight is on amidst clank of weapons and powder scent the rattle of muskets wild shuffle of feet like the hissing groans of some soul accursed with lightning flares and fan-like burst past shot and shell the mouths of the cannons grow a grinning stare with blood are daubed mast and spars and the sparks blown to the lurid air fall on the sails like a rain of stars the fight is on black death with his wings of flame now dominates the scene the scene of black and red like a snake of fire and dismal desire he coils up the rigging chars every plank and gnaws his way towards the powder tank while lurid streams of red gush from the wounded and dead to the passionless flood stained 
with fire and blood the hours pass and the crews are thinned both demand quarter but none will strike and still they fight and fight and fight till the blackened mass crash on the burning decks strewn with bodies and formless stacks the shrieks of the wounded die away silence takes the place of carnage and fray and as a change to all things must come even death ceases his fire song riddled from bow to stern with leaks on the gain the hulls sink deeper into the passionless main still lashed together as in the hours of fight like wounded beast in wild despair they suddenly leap into the lurid air then roll to the side and glide from day's waning light down to the dismal night of the passionless flood stained with fire and blood the sun swings from the hovering murk dark crows that follow the pirates wake flap over crushed timbers and shivered beams adrift on the blood-stained flood like dismal dreams three adagio non lamentoso thirty times the cannons roar over the black and barren shore of the pirate isle under whose rifts of shifting sand lies buried the gold the pirate's hand rest from the sea wanderer of many a land on the black banner that never was furled lies dead the pride of the pirate's race the crew shifts over the quarter deck once more to gaze at his stern sea face then the anchor is hoisted drenched in the twilight's gold the ship shakes out every sail and sweeps before the gale towards the highway of the deep to put its hero forever to sleep what mean now thy hordes of gold a dream in the depth of the wind-blown sand what remains of thy sea face fantastic and bold when you have reached that coral strand where the mermaids dwell who love their pirate sweethearts well a last farewell to the sun and air to the twilight flare with its pennant unfold of crimson and gold as strapped to the plank on the gangway you stand to make the bold leap to the emerald deep harsh as the winds over your life have blown your fate will be in the lands unknown of the moonstone twilights of the sea and as its currents toss thee from shore to shore through coral halls on the moss-grown floor moss-grown since the days of yore you still will be fearless and free lord of the sea four finale sotte voce il gatto on emerald waves o'er which the moonbeams flow lost like a song on the winds that blow an enchanted castle a phantom sail in silent flight from the rolling orb pursuing the wanderers of the night strays with the wayward breeze to be lost on the murmuring seas like a ghost that rose from some emerald tomb to haunt the murmuring main and tell the tale of the pirate's doom the end of the sea king's reign from reddened wave and blackened shore the galleon has vanished forevermore in the moonstone twilights of the sea and only the music the seaweed brings tells of the dauntless deeds of the dead sea kings and a poem this recording is in the public domain end of drifting flowers of the sea and other poems by sadakichi hartman